to talk to you about a grab it kind of faith. You know, we, we hear the word. The Bible says that we hear the word. We're also to be doers of the word. And lately I'm like, I've been fired up about this grab it kind of faith. That when I hear the word, and I've noticed over my life too, when I've heard the word, I've read the word, I'm like, I want that. And there's a grab, there's an actual action that happens in my faith that I, I take a hold of the promises of God and I see them manifest in my life. And I believe 2022 is going to be a year of our grab it faith. That we hear the word, but not only do we hear the word, but we grab a hold of the word and we see it come to pass in our life. And I believe that is a word today. There was a woman that came to church last week and she said, I felt compelled to come to Living Word Bible Church. And she sat in here on a, on a Saturday evening and a word went forth for chronic back pain to be healed. And she said to me out in the forest, she said, I decided that's mine. I'm going to grab that. And she was healed completely in that moment. No more pain. Pain left her body in that moment because she would have that grab it kind of faith. She took a hold of that promise and she said, that is mine. When we go out to dinner with our kids, when we go to a nice dinner with our kids, you know what Jason does? He always orders an appetizer. <laughs> I'm sure that kind of surprises you about Jason and his food. He always orders an appetizer. Now, when that appetizer comes to the, to the table, you would think that my kids haven't eaten in a year. Okay? They are on that appetizer like a pack of wolves. They are just right on it, getting it, getting their food. Now, do you think they stopped for one second and asked their dad, Hey, Dad, can I please have one of those appetizers? No. They don't. They take hold, they grab out and take what has been provided for them. And that is exactly what the word of God is in our lives. His word is laid before you. And, and yes, you can ask, but also you can do one other thing. You can just go ahead and grab and take a hold of that promise and say, I'm going to have prosperity in my life. I'm going to have healing in my life. I'm going to have peace in my life. I'm, fear is no more in my life because it's not in his word. But I am going to take hold. I am going to grab by faith everything that I need in my 2022. This is going to be a year of victory. This is going to be a year of overcoming. This is going to be a year of prosperity and abundance. I didn't even give you the scripture. <laughs> Psalm 107 in verse 20. It says, He sent His word and He healed them and He delivered them from their destructions. Amen. Paul was preaching and in the book of Acts, he was preaching a message and there was a man there and the Bible was very specific to say that he had been crippled since birth. But he sat in that audience and he heard that word about Jesus. He heard that word. And as Paul, I could picture Paul scanning the crowd. He fixated on that one man and he could see by faith that he had grabbed his healing. And he called out, he said, in the name of Jesus, stand up. And that man stood up and he received his full healing in that moment. What did he do? He grabbed it by faith. And so I wanna encourage you today that you see your 2022 as a year of grabbing that faith. You step out, you grab that word, and you say, you know what, that's mine. That word that came today about prosperity, about abundance, that's mine. That's what my 2022 is gonna look like, amen?